Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a grand solar minimum update Wednesday, April 7th, 11 p.m. Mountain Time, 2021. The models are coming in, the new parsings. And we're showing heavy snow in the Northwest as well as British Columbia moving into mid April. And that's not the big story. The big story is 30 million people in the South threatened by severe weather coming soon to a boom near you. Keep calm, it's boom time. Here's our first map, Friday severe threat. Jackson is in the bullseye. Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Shreveport, Dallas. You're not out of the woods. All in the crosshairs. Additional rainfall through Saturday from Shreveport through Tallahassee. Getting sassy. Take a look at the totals in Pensacola, Baton Rouge, up in Arkansas in the southeast. Like a beast, we're talking six inches or more. Al Gore's a bore. Severe weather outlook April 7th, showing that enhanced risk. Take a look. That's number three. All right, so it's not four or five, but we're still alive. Multiple severe weather threats possible moving into the weekend, like a tweakend. There's the advanced risk, three out of five, north of Lafayette. We're talking Monroe, north of Alexandria, and then Jackson, Mississippi. Say it ain't soda. No, we're far south of there. There's the heavy rain moving through in the line in the front. Moving through Baton Rouge, Louisiana, in the next few days. So, we have a heavy risk of severe weather in the southeast, like a beast. And at the same time, Sierra snowpack is at 61% as new drought looms for California this summer, which is a bummer because that baby's going to light on fire like a, well, like a candlestick real quick. But we do have some moisture coming there in the models, so stay tuned. Severe potential shifts eastward. Fire weather threat continues. We did have a drop down in the wind, and thankfully so. It only got up to 10 or 12, 15 miles per hour today. Hey, hey, but it is still looking deadly. And the red flag warnings have dissipated, but they still maintain in the Four Corners region. Moving all the way out here to Nebraska, kiss my ass, and Kansas, the Nansas of the Schmanzas. Now let's check the models at the GFS. Bear with me, folks. Let's walk the models through day by day. Hey, hey. Here is your Thursday. Heavy snow moving into Washington State. A little tippy touch into Oregon. That will be moving into northern Idaho at the same time, as well as western Montana. And then it drops down through Wyoming, where 50% of the entire state is going to be picking up some flurries of some kind. But take a look at the totals in British Columbia off the map here. Holy off the map. There's going to be more snow through the mid. We're only getting to the 12th here or so, 12th or 13th of April, like a schmaprol. But that snow is going to drop down to the Four Corners region below 40 north and continue to affect the country. Hello. So we're going to keep a close eye on that as we move forward. UK weather. Temperatures plunge to minus 6C as Arctic blast strikes and more snow on the way. London is reportedly set to record the coldest start to April in eight years after St. James Park saw the coldest average of the first six days of the month back in 2013. Bing, bang. Slovenia beats the all-time national record with below minus 20C this morning. Numerous, nearly 100-year-old records broken across Europe. Can you believe that? Many in Slovenia reached their coldest April morning over the last 100 years. The official meteorological station Nova Naspol Blokava peaked at minus 20.6 C, which has set a new all-time national record for the month of April since records began. Numerous extreme cold records also across other parts of Central and Western Europe. Deep freeze and morning frost have been destructive. As we expected, the weather models are not wrong this time. An unprecedented extreme cold has verified Across Europe, many parts of Europe into Tuesday morning, following the significant and historic snow a day before, snowfall with some accumulations was reported even as the seaside in Slovenia and Croatia islands. Can you believe that? Was that even written in English? In Slovenia, the weather station Nova Vosblokka hit minus 20.6 C and set a new official lowest temperature for April. Now to April. The previous record at the station was only 18, negative 18 C. 
eclipsing it by 2.6 degrees C. Hello. And that was set 50 years ago. There was another record of minus 26.1 C recorded at the unofficial weather station at the village of Rete de Nulusk. Whatever that means. But it happened, according to people that reported on it. Monster snowdrifts block Scottish roads. Southern Croatia sees its first April snow ever as White Horse snowpack reaches 300% of normal. What is normal anyway? Let's check the GFS models coming out of Europe like a tour up. Who got tour up? Here we are looking at April 8th the 9th into the 10th we should be seeing some snow in scotland as it moves down south wow like a plow if that's even a thing let's just run this through for a second while we get a seismic update we'll blow this up for you things have reset we still have a continue continuation of the uptick on the west coast of the u.s like the best nothing significant in the quakes Largest quake of note is in the northern fracture zone here, north of New Zealand. Not significant. Could potentially be an aftershock from those major events. It's only coming at the Kermadec Islands at a 6 and a 5.4 magnitude aftershock. Nobody cares. But we do care about the weather here in the UK. So, hey, hey, let's, let's walk it through. Take a look at Norway. It's going to be the big winner, chicken dinner. And then we've got snow coming into Scotland. And that's going to hit you on Thursday. Through your Friday, April 8th, Scotland's going to be picking it up. And then by Saturday into your Sunday, which is a fun day, April 11th, some southern tippy touch of snow. Into your Monday in uh, UK, take a look. UK's not looking good. Northern Spain, it's insane. It's going to be picking up snow in the middle of spring, ding, ding. As well as Germany and France, going to be completely slathered in the plather. And that's not looking good because we're only looking 132 hours out, which is less than half of the model. Seismic update, we already did that. Let's talk about some volcanic activity worldwide, including Sofre de St. Vincent. This is in the West Indies, St. Vincent Island. Effusive eruption continues with a, size, a series of seismic swarms. Now, this was just like a little dome about two months ago and now has filled the entire valley very reminiscent of what's happening in Iceland. Hello. Pacaya as well in Guatemala. Spectacular video of current eruption site right there. Come take a look. Who, who knew uh, that it was even available? But we're going to parse that up real quick. But what we are seeing is that this Pacaya eruption and the lava flow is moving down into populated regions. The effusive explosive eruption of the volcano continues at high levels. The western eruptive fissure remains active and continues to feed the lava flow into the south, southwest slope at high rate. The rapidly advancing lava flow continues to burn. Oh, and it's live. What are they doing? Oh my God, it's burning up. We're all going to die. It's burning up. Oh my God. Apparently that's what they're saying there. Let's watch it again. The audio has been cut. Very interesting. The audio has been cutting out on all the videos. Hmm. Well, we, we heard some of the audio earlier. Oh, there it is. And we're back. Hello. Now, clearly what they're saying in the background is, holy shit, our forests are burning up. What the? Where's Al Gore when you need him? So come check it out live. I'm going to leave you the links to all this. Pacaya Volcano is moving towards populated centers. Boom! Iceland geology. We're not left out. We just did an update over on magnetic reversal news on the Fagladishval mountain eruption, which has been updated April 8th, according to Iceland geology. Now, there was a new eruption two days after Easter, about a mile northwest of the current eruption where Bob is happening, and has filled the entire Glendengalder Valley. But a new fissure opened up and started erupting between the Glendengalder eruption, second day of Easter eruption, and it's now the, called the middle eruption. 
and it's a fissure between the two. The lava fields have now merged and are now one larger lava field from Glendon Galdor down to the Meridalier Valley, as we predicted would be atypical of a Reckianus Ridge volcanic fissure. Now, we base this all on historical information that's over 800. Well, it's coming from information from uh, eruptions over 800 years old. So it's very old information called historical documentation. And guess what? It was correct. Hello. We just learned something. And here we are back live at the valley of death and destruction. Not really. There's no one that lives here, which is good news. While we watch amazing, destructive, earth-changing mid-ocean ridge activity off of a spine of the mid-ocean ridge actually erupting onto the surface of the earth. This tholeitic magma comes from over 20 kilometers at depth near that uh, crustal mantle boundary, and it's fantastic. Let's just soak it in. Soaking it in like sin. Now, earlier tonight when we were showing this footage, we had some amazing audio, but it doesn't seem to be showing up tonight. That's our plight. But what do you want to do when you're just a hillbilly in a barn on a farm? <laughs> Hello! God, I can't even see you guys. Oh, there you are. Holy macaroni. Time to pack the, well, Al Gore Bowley. Arizona governor signs bill to defy any new federal gun control laws. Well, chin chin, Arizona governor. You're upholding your bargain on the constitutional narrative that's called, uh, well, the Constitution. Rates of Parkinson's disease are exploding. See how I make that sound effect? It's normal. Boom! A common chemical may be to blame. You see a lot of people shaking these days? It's typically, if you have a twitch in your muscles or anywhere in your body, it's typically uh, coming from aspartame. Aspartame, the fake sweetener that uh, they discovered in a, a pond next to Monsanto about 30 years ago. And they were like, hey, this shit is sweet. Tweet, tweet. No, it's not how it happened. It used to be a bio biological weapon, but they now transferred it over to a sweetener that they feed the public. Can you believe that? And there are more of those chemicals in many of the processed foods that people think are food, but they're just simply, well, they're not. AstraZeneca vaccine linked to rare blood clots. I'm sure you've heard about this over the last few weeks. Not a lot of the mainstream narratives picking up on it, but we are. And EU regulators conclude that, well, we're not giving it out. So, no, we are. We looked at the data, and it's good, so take it. That's actually what they said, isn't That's a dystopian world. Now, a sun reflector for Earth. They've already turned down the, geo, <laughs> the geoengineering experiment with puffing uh, baking soda up in the stratosphere. They relocated it to Sweden, and they still said no. And now a sun reflector is being proposed. These are giant mirrors that beam the light back out into space from the sun. How dim are these scientists? Oh my God. Humans were apex predators for two million years until our brain shrunk. Do you know our brain was growing for millions of years until we learned how to hunt mammoths and elk and shit? And then we got dumb, we sat down, we got back pain, and we got opiates. Thank you, pharmaceutical industry. Our brains are shrinking, and you're dumbing us down, just, like, just as planned. Snake fly mystery deepens after surprising fossil discovery. Wait till you hear this story. In all its glory. Now, snake flies have been known in the biological record for some decades now. They're fantastic. But until recently, a perfect snake fly specimen has not been recorded in lithic shales until recently. And this one was found 50 million years old by this amazing fella. Where the hell did he go? There he is. This dude found a snake fly fossil in some of the greatest lake deposits 
that ever existed. And that's where you buy all the fish and all that other shit in the store. But he's actually doing scientific uh, endeavors in that region. And the Green Valley share, shells all often show us some amazing things. And this is not coming from there. This is uh, coming from a different region, but some 50 million years old. And take a look at the, here is the modern version of the snake fly. And here is a 50 million year old version. There is no difference in the phylogeny of either creature. Same thorax, same neck, same head, same exact tendrils of, of the antennae, same legs. Everything is exactly anatomically the same. It's almost as if this 50 million year old species that was procured in this shale is exactly the same as this snake fly. The only difference is the one below was able to live in warmer environs. And the one above has been evolved to modern day, which is an ice age, to live in only cooler environments. Hmm. Wonder why that happened. Hello. Are you picking it up? We just put it down. Snake fly paleontology, right in your face. Now the first assessment of interconnection between celestial pole offset. That's the rotational axis, eh, crustal slip, and geomagnetic field variations, which are independent of that. So the geomagnetic field goes like that, and then the rotational field goes like that. Holy shit. They just put it together. And at the same time, the U.S. government prints money like it's going out of style. Take a look at this. This is the M1 money stock data set. And you can see here that this is all the money that's ever been printed moving through. And you can see here during the f first little financial blip here when I lost all my money back in the 90s. Then I lost it again in the early 2000s. Then I lost it again <laughs> and again. And now in 2007, I lost it again. And then here, I, I gained it all. Boom. As they printed money, yeah, I made my little pseudo fortune into a, well, yeah, I can now pay for cigarettes. Trust me. Hope you got something out of the video. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance as the governments print money. In fact, they've printed $20 trillion in just the last few months. That's not going to go so well. How do you think it's going to react? Please subscribe to the channel. Follow us along as society collapses, the empire model fails, and the magnetic reversal increases and takes out the grid. Yes, you're going to want to know the most recent updates. And why wouldn't you? As Iceland is erupting and the crack in the world ever expands daily. Where can you get all this amazing footage up-to-date scientific knowledge and news in one place. It's a disgrace. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance as we enter a new realm in reporting, alternative media, real science, and real reporting. Be safe. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to our one-time donors, our Patreons, and everyone that shares this video tonight, you're a hero. This is live on the mid-ocean ridge rupture that is now growing day by day. Hey, hey, be safe. We love you. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more knowledge as we learn together in this melee, in the heyday of science exploration. No, 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 no.